This video is about how to assemble a trackware and setting up parameter. 这段视频是关于安装称重机和设定参数。In the first section, assemble the trackware section. When you receive the product, you will see the wire fix the this part. So first, you need to untie the wires. 首先，当你拿到称重机的时候，你会看见这里是有。铁丝固定称重机的，所以首先拿到之后要先把铁丝拿掉 ，untie the wires。Then next is about how to assemble the weighing section to a kit. You can see here, including two screws, one wrench, and one aluminum block. 工具箱里面包括一个。铝块、一个扳手和两个螺丝。接下来我们就会安装铝块进去。Put the aluminum block fit into the hole. This is the aluminum block. You need to fit it into the hole exactly the place. Gently, because the sensor is next to the block. And adjust the place, and then put the screws into two holes. We already mark the place. One screw and the second screw. Slightly fix it gently. Avoid any damage to the weighing sensor. Using the wrench to gently adjust, but not too tight. And then we put the conveyor on top. First, we will fix the conveyor belt. Put it on top. You need to adjust to check the belt if there and buckle the two buckles on the two sides on the two sides buckle up. You need to check if there are any gap in between. You need to leave the gap. You you can press. To check the bell, if it's too tight, you need to lift the gap in between. And then you need to because you already find the right place. So this time you need to tighten. Up the screw, make it tight. Tighten it up means you already find the right place, and put the and this time finally you put the conveyor belt on top, and then fix it. Make sure the conveyor belt is horizontal, and and also lift the gap in between. Lift the gap in between, and it's horizontal. And now you already assemble the wing section. The finally part, the cover on the belt, and screw it gently. Make sure it avoid bump into the belt fixer. Use the wrench to fix the screw. And check the belt. Make sure leave the gap in between. 
Now we already assembled the weighing section. Next, we will connect the connector wire. Here you can see this is a concave, concave on the connector wire. We need to connect it to the box. There is a convex hole there which will fix exactly to the concave one. Connect it right into the convex hole and then tighten up the screw on the wire. Tighten it up so that you can connect the connector wire into the box. In the third part, you need to adjust the resection device section. Adjust, make sure it is horizontal. You can run the bell to check if the bell is stuck or not. Make sure you leave the gap in between. And then how to make sure you have a horizontal. You, you can adjust the feet height through this one, the screw. You can adjust the screw on the feet to make sure you can have a horizontal belt. Check again. Check again. The belt is running. There's gap in between. And make sure it's horizontal belt. So that you already adjust the resection, reject device section. And the first part is about connect to the air source, air source process Y. This is the this is the Y and connect it, connect, so that you can connect it to the air source processor. Now plug in and make a trial run. First, we turn on the machine. You can see the interface. Click English. In this section, we need to check two things. First, check the bell if the bell is deviated or not. Second, you need to check the value, the zero. Okay, first, we will check the bell if it's deviated or not. Click on the button, motor run, and check the belt if it runs in the dark in the right direction to check if the bell is deviated or not. Okay, if you find the bell is not running on the right direction, you can adjust two screw on this side and on that side so that you can adjust the screw here to make sure you have the right running bell into the direction, not deviate. This is how to have a running belt in the right direction and then we can have a close up on the interface look at here zero it means there's nothing here so the value is zero and it fixed on zero and not changing into different numbers if you have a different number value check if the weighing section if bump into anything check the belt and also check the bell fixer cover to make sure you always have a zero, zero, fixed zero on the interface. So that it means there's nothing on the wing section. So it means you assemble the wing section rightly. And then on the next section, it's about the setting up the parameter. Now we need to set up the calibration. Click on the calibration, you go to into this interface. Click the zero button and insert 500, 500 gram, enter. And then put the weight 
here gently on the center of the weighing section and you get a 500 gram here zero calibration successfully done then it's okay exist put the weight move the weight then you already done your calibration part and then we need to set up the parameter first you need to have a starter weight you need to have a starter weight so put your product on the writing section so that you can have a static weight you can see in the screen is 208.4 gram take note of this number and then we go into the setup user login interface administrator and put in the password enter click the parameter and the target weight is 208.4 enter enter the static weight and then you need to set up your over limit number and under limit number and also you put on the product number here and your product name here you can set up your name so you have the product number product name target weight over limit number under limit number so you already set up the basic parameter click exist and click the download button means you save the data you already set up exist and click the motor run button and run your product for many times to check run on your product for several times to check the weight for running for several times to check the weight deviation now you, you get the number and check again to check if the weight deviation or not okay for this part we already set up the parameter so it means you already assembled the weighing section the weight check wear and already set up the basic parameter on your machine take note that the setup interface you only input product name product number over and under limit or weight correct button for the other parameter are all default setting so it means you do not need to adjust unless necessary you can check the detail in our manual handbook for explanation